So the Philippines is going crazy for Juan Carlos's latest massive hit called Ere for multiple reasons. One, the song is fantastic, okay? Two, the live performance video that I reacted to was extremely engaging, organic, and it just felt natural. Three, it's because of the lyrics of this video and the meaning of the video. As a matter of fact, after we react to a live performance of Ere by Juan Carlos, because apparently the audience went nuts, we will read the English version of the song on Genius.com so that we can understand it even better. But apparently in the song, he actually curses, okay? And I am going to pronounce it. I'm not actually cursing at you or whatever. This is what he says in the song. Nakakaputang <laughs> ina. Okay. And apparently, so puta is uh, a whore, basically. And ina is mother. So I'm thinking it's close to mother effer. You know what he says? Yeah, and the song apparently is about breakup or like ghosting, like when a person just leaves in the middle of a relationship without notice, you know what I'm saying? So that's more like ghosting. But R, R apparently means air or mid air. So I guess you can understand it as leaving you hanging, you know? I think that's how you can really translate it. So yeah, I was sent a uh, an Instagram link for his live performance. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Maligayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. My name is Ovela. I am a sound engineer, beat maker, and content creator. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. It's live in Subic. <laughs> I hope they show us the audience, man. My gosh, the reaction is intense. So this is live in Subic. Where is Subic located? Okay, so in the description, it also says Juan Carlos Apaka Galing Mag Perform Damang Dama Ang Ganda Panang Ngiti Pakis Naman. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yo, the reaction of the audience is giving me chills. This is insane. I don't even think that with the song Buan, so his big massive hit as well, as well Buan, I think it was his biggest hit, uh, his first biggest hit. I don't think I ever heard the audience this uh, excited and this, you know, involved with, uh, with, this, with the song. I thought he was gonna break his neck, man, with that move. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> oh, it's the part where he curses that everybody sings with him. So he's making everyone curse with him. <laughs> this guy is ridiculous in the best way possible. My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna. Uh, <laughs> he invited a fan on stage and he kissed the fan that is so freaking cute did you hear people's reaction when he gave her a kiss <sighs> oh awesome <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yo, they wrote on the video Live Ere hits different and I agree it's because of uh, the effect of the audience right Whew. it's what the audience adds to the performance <laughs> he's so sweet he is so freaking sweet. This song is a massive hit. Like I've heard it maybe three times. That's it. And it's stuck in my head. The chorus is so freaking catchy. The Ere part and then when he curses because of the drop, you know. Yo, this could actually be a huge international hit, you know. Mm, I wonder if it's possible to actually come up with English subtitles that would fit the the meaning of the Tagalog words perfectly, you know, so that more people can have access to it. But then again, is that necessary? No. You know what? No, screw that. Let the world uh, get used to Tagalog, you know? The world should start singing this song in its original form, you know? It's an amazing song and I think it should definitely uh, go viral everywhere the way it is, you know? Come on now. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> they go crazy <laughs> for the for the word.
there you go that was fantastic i freaking loved it because of the song because of his energy because of his sweetness he was so sweet to that fan and because of the audience of course wow the audience was so into the performance that was awesome we need more we need more you know what i need someone to go over the internet and make a compilation of snippets of the live performances of Ere by Juan Carlos Labajo where the audience just loses it, you know, so that I can actually react to that video. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, okay, now we're gonna read the lyrics of the song provided by Genius.com. It's rare that I actually find a proper English translation of a Filipino song on Genius.com because I don't know why, but if it's the case with this one, which means that the song is very popular. So, verse 1. All of the love and the time I gave seems you didn't notice. I'm not good in your eyes. Mmm... Um, the chorus is, oh, right, how fucked up it is. We're flying and you left me. Oh, right, you made me look like a fool. We're flying and you left me. So, Ere is your flying, I guess. Verse 2, you didn't tell me at once that there are already doubts on your mind. Doubts, doubts. You just deepened it more, the wound here in my heart. Oh, shit. <laughs> chorus again mm, right how fucked up it is i don't think it's translated perfectly but it will do the job uh, we're flying and you left me all oh, right you made me look like a fool we're flying and you left me hanging 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 uh, and you left me hanging 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 and you left me the bridge three billion it's only you that i really want i'm sorry if i'm not for you right now we're now heading towards our new chapter. I don't want to live in a world without us. Three billion. It's only you that I really want. I'm sorry if I'm not for you right now. Uh, they should have put, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not the one for you right now, right? We're now heading towards an, our new chapter. So they're just repeating. I don't want to live in a world without us. And then chorus again. Yeah, so it's they just repeat and repeat and repeat the same thing so it's not very complicated like the, li the lyrics are not complicated Th that explains as well why the song is so popular and is such a big hit you know because if you think about it the biggest hits ever are pretty simple and are simple to sing along to and to follow you know so that explains it but there's one interesting thing, is that Ere did not become this big hit until he released the live performance video. So how do you explain that, man? Like, he released it, you know, he released the song, then he released the official music video, but it didn't pick up with the official music video. It's when he released the live performance video. So how do you explain that? Seriously, I have my thoughts about it. So yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Marami, marami, salamat po. And of course, if you found value in this video, do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.